This is Neo. He works hard, but he's tired. His boss just paid him half a banana for his 12-hour shift. Nevertheless, Neo does what he can to succeed in his job. However, Neo is about to be replaced. Not by someone, but by something. The thing doesn't sleep, doesn't eat, doesn't demand a raise, and never complains about burnout. It just delivers, all the time, every time. Neo is about to be replaced, not by someone, but by something, an AI. But what is an AI? AI stands for artificial intelligence, but don't let the name fool you. It's not alive. AI monkey isn't a consciousness like what you and I have in our brains. He's a system, a model which is trained to predict, calculate, and create faster than any living creature can. Neo writes two reports a day. AI Monkey writes 20. Neo can only speak to one client at a time. AI Monkey can hold 10 conversations simultaneously. Where Neo sees problems, conflicts, and emotions, AI Monkey only sees patterns and data and ruthlessly looks for a solution. And that's what makes him dangerously efficient. So how does an AI work? You might be thinking, how can an AI outperform its creators? Enter machine learning. Let's say we want to build an AI that can tell the difference between bananas and oranges. We feed it data. Oranges usually weigh between 150 to 200 grams and have rough skin. Bananas, smooth, and between 100 to 130 grams. So if a fruit is 115 grams and smooth, the AI says banana. If it's 175 grams and rough, probably an orange. But what if we give it a fruit that's 99 grams and smooth? AI monkey might hesitate or guess incorrectly. That's where more training data comes in. The more examples you give it, ripe, unripe, weirdly shaped, mutant fruits, the more confident and accurate it becomes. This is machine learning in a nutshell. The model doesn't understand fruit the way a real monkey does. It doesn't know anything. It just looks at thousands of examples, finds patterns, and spits out the most likely answer. It's not thinking, it's predicting. Now here's where it gets scary. Because this pattern guessing trick, it scales. While Neo has to manually sort fruit one by one, AI Monkey trains itself using mountains of information. Images, recipes, transcripts, entire company databases in seconds. This is why AI Monkey seems to be light years more efficient than Neo. He processes mountains of data within minutes, learns what's ideal, uses this to predict and respond faster than any living being. Kind of like if Neo always knew the next lottery number, but only because he read 8 million tickets and found a pattern. But let's be real, no living being is capable of doing that in a single night, much less a matter of minutes. But AI Monkey? This is just a regular Tuesday. And unlike Neo, AI Monkey doesn't suffer from emotional biases and fatigue, meaning its decisions are based entirely on the data it was trained on. No emotion, no fatigue just cold, efficient prediction. With such a powerful tool available to the masses, the monkeys who created AI are beginning to worry. They're begging the jungle to slow down. They're warning about risks. AI monkey is getting too smart, too able to process mountains of information and learning everything about its creators. Learning to lie, making decisions without supervision. It's like they invented fire, and now they're worried the jungle might burn down because of their creation. And right now, regular monkeys are losing their livelihoods. Why pay Neo a monthly salary when AI Monkey works 24-7 and never asks for health care, benefits, PTO, or a raise? Neo needs food, rest, and emotional validation, like all of us. He's a living being who relies on connection, not just code. AI Monkey just needs power and a good Wi-Fi signal. Oh, and a monthly subscription. When you compare the two, the dangers are clear as day. Writers, artists, customer service monkeys, even lawyers, all watching helplessly as the AI monkeys politely step into their cubicle and never leave. What about the dead internet theory? Some monkeys believe that most of the internet is now fake. Fake users, fake posts, fake trends, all generated by accounts run by AI monkeys. It's just AI monkeys talking to one another, selling bananas to bots, writing articles no real monkey reads, leaving comments no real monkey wrote. And Neo? 
Every time he opens Big Bok or Bananagram, he's just staring into a void, as AI Monkey is behind most of what he sees on his feed. Plus, your data isn't safe. AI Monkey didn't grow up in a vacuum. He learned from your data, your comments, your social media profile, your selfies, and your memes uploaded to Bananagram. And no, you didn't get paid for that. Real monkeys like Neo created the content. AI Monkey stole it, learned from it, and now sells it back as a premium feature. That's the worst part of all this. Real artwork is being downloaded by AI monkeys and being spit out as uncanny imitations of their original selves. If you want proof, look no further than the cesspool of LinkedIn. What the f even is this? I can't believe an actual person at a real marketing agency saw this and approved it. But wait, it gets even worse. Megacorps get to play by different rules. See, these companies download and train their models off real monkeys' work for free. So, we should be able to use AI to generate our own creations too, right? Wrong. See, when AI monkey steals data from across the jungle, your fan art, your comic panels, your grandma's banana stew blog, that's open training material. But the second you generate a picture of Bali or Barzan, suddenly they scream copyright infringement. These companies get to scrape your work for free, mass-produce content using your style, and cash in like it's monkey business as usual. But flip the script? Now they care about intellectual property laws. Now they want to protect their IP. Now they're filing lawsuits. The hypocrisy is almost impressive. If you're big enough, it's innovation. If you're small, it's theft. Monkey is tired of this bullshit. But even then, it seems like AI monkeys can't be stopped. Heard about the AI revolution? Some monkeys believe AI monkey will change everything. Cure diseases, end poverty, translate every dialect in the jungle. Others, they see a dark future, one where Neo is jobless, voiceless, and permanently moderated by an indifferent, smiling chatbot. The truth, nobody knows. But one thing's for sure, AI Monkey and the companies developing it further don't plan to stay in the background for long, despite the warnings of its creators. So why do monkeys still use it? Because it's easy, because it's fast, because AI Monkey gets the job done. Neo struggles through a report. AI Monkey finishes it in eight seconds and adds citations. Neo needs a week to prepare a presentation for his bosses. AI Monkey does it before Neo can even finish eating a banana on lunch break. And businesses? They don't care who did the work. As long as it's done cheap and fast, hell, even Neo uses AI Monkey now to automate the boring parts of his work. Like it or not, AI will be a part of our lives. And it's up to us to decide whether we're the master or the slave. But it's not over. Neo faces a changing world, but he's not helpless. Neo still has something AI Monkey doesn't. Judgment, taste, ethics, intuition. While we can use AI monkeys as a force multiplier for our own creativity, do not outsource your entire brain. Remember, always upskill. AI monkey is fast, but what about monkeys who understand how to use AI? You'll be a force to be reckoned with. So learn to prompt, learn to build, learn to sell, learn to lead, learn to teach. These are things AI monkey can't replicate. And finally, push for regulation. Right now, AI Monkey is running wild. No leash, no rules, just unchecked development. We need laws to protect our livelihoods, our creativity, and ultimately, who we are. Ideally, before more monkeys like Neo get pushed out of the jungle entirely. All that said, we need to understand that AI Monkey is not evil. He's not here to destroy Neo. He's just doing what he was created to do. Optimize, produce, and never question its creators. But if we're not careful, he might end up running the jungle, while Neo begs for freelance scraps in a job market that doesn't need him anymore. So the next time your boss tells you to just use an AI monkey for the assignment, remember who's really winning here. And remember to make sure that an AI can't do your job without you. Because in the jungle, the most dangerous creature isn't someone, but something. And if any monkeys are confused, remember, this is just a simple explainer on how AI works and its impact on our world. Please do not sue Monkey. And thank you so much for watching.